Welcome to POV Builds. I'm your host, Mike Butt. Today we're going to be taking a look inside the HP Z440. Uh, in the rear here we have ourselves a nice GPU fan uh, to keep all your passively cooled cards uh, nice and chilled out. Well, it's a nice stream across here. Uh, I, of course, don't need it uh, for mine. Here, let me just get the cords out of the way. See, it plugs into the motherboard uh, like so. Uh, it's firmly attached, not aftermarket, not going anywhere. Um, like I was saying, I don't really need it for, for my card, uh, simply because, uh, my card's actively cooled. It, um, I have the 1650, uh, OC. Um, let me just give this a yank here. What the heck? Flick in the flick here, and it's not really wanting to come out. Uh-huh, hang on, hold on here, let me just go ahead and yank, no, ah, this flap here, I did not get the flap, alright, so once the flap's out of the way, it pulls out all lickety split, uh, two nice big fans on this with a honking big heat sink on the rear. If you could see through there, look at that. See, it extends out the top and the side like that past the card. Um, it's a honking big one. They expect you to, uh, to really overclock the snot out of this. Um, so, uh, go ahead and stick this back in while I'm, uh, while I'm sticking this in. Uh, may as well mention I, it comes with two uh two eight cables um i don't really use that i personally don't think two eights is enough for a workstation but i obviously haven't you know maxed everything out so i don't need it okay that's not going anywhere all right um, now i have a pretty good cpu chiller this is actually the stock one this honking big one um Taken out, I got uh, four sticks of eight gigabytes RAM. These are um, Samsung 2133. Um, pretty good. It's uh, it's the board has four channels. Uh, all four channels are populated. Uh, I have eight slots, so I mean, uh, I can theoretically uh, support 512 on this particular board, but. I, I don't know if I'm going to because it's this particular one's pretty old. Uh, not like it. So just give that a push in there. Make sure it's all clickety clacked. All right. Now moving along to my 700 watt power supply. Uh, it's taking out the screws a little earlier. Did I take out the screws? Yeah, I took out the screws a little earlier. Um, just to make sure. And we got a button down here. You push the button. It's kind of a release. Uh, let me just kind of get in there. Sorry about focusing on the wrong spot. Um, the camera's on my head, and I needed to use my real eyes to take a look. So here's the button there. Push the button. It releases that. Uh, however, right there, we got a plug in the way. Uh, so I'm going to slide this kind of back and give this a little bit of a wiggle jiggle to get the cord out. Uh, come on. It's probably is a two-handed deal. There you go. All right. So now my absolute pet peeve when it comes to HP. Why would you design a ledge like that? Why? The only reason I could think of is because you don't want people using an aftermarket parts. So nuts to you. I mean, that's not moving. That's not moving. That's clearly blocking the way. You're not going to be putting any aftermarket parts in there. So, and as I was saying before, 700 watts doesn't necessarily cut it in a workstation. So, I'm just going to slide that back in there. Get my screws. And just screw that. Twisty, twisty. Twist it up. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, HP, there was really no need. Really no need for that. We all know why you did that. Um, it's because if anyone needs more than 700 watts, you're just going to tell them to go get, like, an 800. Or I guess there's Z8s by now. So I'm going to go diagonal, give this one a screw, screw that. 
Um, just like you do, just like you're changing a tire, you want to go diagonally for the even pressure. Now let's go. Okay, where's my other screws? Are you serious? 20 minutes ago. 20 minutes ago, I unscrewed this. Put them in there. All right. Whatever. That's not going anywhere. Two screws and that latch. That's not going anywhere. All right. So uh, let me just go ahead. And why do I have a SATA cable here? Uh, these are my two eights. I have a SATA cable that's plugged into nothing. Let me just go ahead and give this a yank. A little ridiculous having a SATA cable in the middle of nowhere hooked to nothing. So just going to yank that out of the way. Stick these eights into the uh, slots in the fan. They fit all nicely there. I'm not too concerned about blocking the uh, blocking the uh, airflow because, you know, I uh, mine's not passably cool. And I just got the one card, so I'm not so worried about that. Um, all right, so why is this just dangling here? I'm going to double check these, make sure. But this is just dangling here. Um, oh, good thing it's an, SS, uh, it's an SSD and not just an old one. Here we go. Uh, got a really nice RAM shroud. Uh, these blow uh, in there. It gets powered uh, by this plug right over here. Uh, and it plugs right down into the motherboard. Uh, just slides in there. Unfortunately, HP is crappy when it comes to cable management. Look at this. That is clearly in the way. I'm trying to stuff it in there. Um, hang on. Let me just... All right, maybe... Uh, oh, you know what? I did not plug this in. Wouldn't that have been embarrassing if I hooked everything else up, but did not hook the power back up to the motherboard? Let's just feel that in there. Give it a click. Make sure it's in there. Oh, boy. All right. Rookie mistake, but I caught it. All right. Let's see if I can maybe stick these up in that little clamp there and hold it. Um, I got a pretty big hand, so that's going to that's gonna be getting in the way. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. All right. So get it in there. Give it a nice good click. Push it in there. Good to go. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, be sure to click like and subscribe. I have a Patreon down there, but you don't have to do that. Just like and subscribe. I'll be happy with that. See you later.